they ain't ready, steady aim at the target. I'm flooding the market, a break from the garbage. An artist, sensitive about mind and pardon. No margin for error, flawless be rarer. The black cat goddess, you walking with a panther. Painting these pictures with words like... Hey, it's your girl, Madam Money, a.k.a. Trap, 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 Trap. And welcome to the official sort in the game. I'm review of 38 Special and DJ Green Lanterns 1995. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And let's get it. Now, 38 has been having a hell of a year uh, as the leader of the trust movement over there on his own. He has produced a number of projects. Shane Noir's Juno, Modest Prayer and Sacred um, Psalms by El Camino. In addition to doing Army of Trust 2, Ways and Means uh, by Rashid Chappelle, A Thousand Words by A Thousand Words. He also put out Six Shots this year. He also put out Special Blends, which is just a beat tape that I use for one of the focal points over here um, for our timeline. Cypher, salute to everybody involved. Wait for the next one coming out. It's coming out real soon, real dope shit. Um, he also did Community Service for Street Justice. Also, Top of the Red for Chase Fetty, who did a project with uh, Flea lord this year as well and he also did um loyalty and trust too for flea lord so when 1994 came out i really thought like that that came out last year that was like a compilation album i didn't know if 1995 was going to be along those same lines you feel me but most certainly he just he just held it down on this joint like this shit got me so super excited it's crazy as hell shout out to um cp10 for the artwork on here you feel me everybody is loving it it's just like that graffiti type type style black and white like if you sitting in your high school just drawing and scribbling in your book instead of fucking listening to the teacher and shit i fucking salute cp10 all day for everything that he brings to the table when it comes down to the artwork in the underground now dj green lantern you know that's a legend in himself whenever i hear his name all i think of is the invasion the infiltration and like the part he played in the 50 cent eminem like ja rule benzino beef on the come up all of those uh mixtape was hard he also um did grabs oracle one two and most of three that had dropped this year he produced uh ludicrous's number one spot if you didn't know uh, a couple years back he did um butcher on steroids for benny the butcher he also just hosted benny the butcher's artist heme's um heme bsf um album that just dropped that review is also going to be on the page so make sure you check it out just legendary tags also was had his hands involved in the bars am2 with royce of five nine just legend le legendary work you feel me this is the man that was behind d blocks two guns up like let's get it right when we get down to get down also last year he like one of my top three beats for 2019 was undertaker versus goldberg you feel me or for hitler we heard me seven for um, what's Side gun like i'm telling you he he's just he's just legendary in his whole own right so when this shit kicked off right and before like before we even like go another further like you guys is lucky i'm not out here with motherfucking tommy hill figure overalls one strap down one leg up with a bandana tied around the joint to keep it up. Motherfucker, my Tim's tied loose. Loose as hell out here just dragging them, you feel me? I got the fake mold because you already know what it was going on down there. I need a scully. I need a blunt and a real Dutch, big Dutch, not no cigarillo type shit. And I need a fucking 40 in a brown paper bag and bust a nigga head open with the shit when it was still glass. You understand what I'm saying to you? So when I heard this shit pop off... DJ Green Lantern, he starts this off with all these scratches or all these top tracks that was going on in this time period. You feel me? And he made a reference in there. He said he's in the lab. Now, for y'all who don't understand, that was his um, Hot 97 show where he would do exactly what he did on his project. He would take um, people's acapella verses and beats and just mix and switch all of that shit up. He's one of the very few, like, real, real DJs who did this. So whenever y'all see me put in the lab on the timeline before I come in here doing this for y'all, it's because him, I do that. Because that stuck with me so hard throughout all of these years, like, in the lab. This was, this was how he popped shit off for everybody. So, so salute to him on that you know 
it's crazy because like this is an album that is paying homage to the golden era of hip hop. It's paying homage to radio freestyles in that time period, and a lot of that shit went over your head. You, you know what I mean? Y'all don't sometimes take a project for what it's worth. You always want to put your two cents in there. I heard somebody say, "Oh, 38 should have spit over the intro to this." Hell no! This intro is a, a legendary intro and is letting you know what's about to happen on this on this album if you know what's good with it you feel me also you're saying you know this is a cheat code for 38 spinning all over these hot um these like top beats from ever and it's like no this is him just paying homage to one of these like flawless eras in hip-hop and holding it down on this because the whole vibe on here is a mixtape free freestyle type vibe like you feel me the transitions throughout this will let you know that if you didn't catch or you wasn't knowledgeable about what um green lantern was doing back in the day so just want to let y'all know like you know what i mean like grab a pen and a piece of paper because we about to get busy over here i'm the teacher sit the fuck down and let's get right into it all right first track off of here round table now this is az's um track off of do or die you feel me more money more murder more homicide featuring nas oh, like this beat right here like all of these beats should take you back to a time period where you just be like yo the first time i heard this like i remember it, the first time i heard this was on a late night like on some real shit and just like flawless flawless beat one of the top beats in hip-hop period 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 a lot of y'all artists need to take notes and like grab some of these like top beats and just start spitting over these joints you feel me because that's how it was done before a jacket for beats was jacket for beats you would just jack the nigga beat and do this type of shit and that's what needs to be done on this motherfucker like this shit is just so hard <laughs> fed up fed set up surveillance across the street they got some visuals but no audio we really speak and i just let you know the vibe that um 38 is on throughout this whole process second track on here home game infamous ice cream beat only built for cuban links Ray quantum chef method man capadonna i usually give capadonna mad like mad shit for his verse on here we gonna let everything slide today um 38 he ends the track off saying bring it back to my city like a home game but in here he says the the judge got dates to lock me but i was upstate eating steak and broccoli that mean hey you ain't got what it take to stop me dining room and plates versace like let's like, spit that money shit you feel me spit that money shit this is what i'm saying on this and like i said you check the transitions in between these tracks you would definitely see what the concept is behind this so there's no excuses for your lack of stuff as knowledge and what y'all want to put into a project nah this shit is flawless just how it is next track on here chalk board taking ll cool j's who shot you i shot you I shot your remix, Keith Murray, um, Fat Joe, Foxy Brown. Later uh, uh, on in the hip hop game, this beat was also taken over for the 50 Cent um, D Block beef with 50 Cent coming out with Problem Child and Jada Kiss and Styles going over the same beat. This is one of the like few times in hip hop this has happened where somebody takes the same beat that the niggas spit off of in a diss and like spits over it and motherfucking murders the shit if big was alive he probably spit in your face as jaded to 50 you feel me let's go 38 on here what the fuck i got a chalk for a talk for hustle remind me of a chalkboard all i see is green and white first block of raw gave my team some life two pots going off like it's beans and rice you feel me later on in um his rhyme he says nothing causes locked jaws like fiends and pipes now his face changed color like he jesus christ and i was like jesus Christ. Let's go. You see what I did. You know the vibe. All right. Next track on here returns. And this is off of Onyx. This is Onyx uh, Last Days. They have also, also did like Last Days uh, Reloaded with Dead Press. But like, yo, this is Sticky's like hottest verse in history sticky fingers hottest verse in history you feel me south uh, south suicide queens you feel me coming on here and later down in the game because just like on some real shit eminem versus lotto you feel me from off of eight mile i still feel lotto won this battle since this conversation was coming up but this is the same beat that they spit over lotto was like i spit a racial slur hockey sue me this shit a horror flick but the black guy doesn't die in this movie and i always 
like that shit just always just run with the kid lives rent free in my head you feel me we don't make threats to niggas we make shootings funeral funeral arrangement arrangements wakes and viewings i'm the predecessor of the uns of the upstate movement in 05 i was upstate weight moving um, and then he goes on to say he doesn't mind the, he doesn't mind being the Michael Bivens of this new edition, and I I feel him on that. You feel me? He's just like you know he's behind the whole operation. He's the one doing what he got to do to get everybody where they need to go, and I respect him for that. Next track on here, two forks spitting off of the jizzes, shadow boxing off a of liquid swords featuring method man method man on that track was like my third i seen it coming before it happened like this was just dope just like dope beat selection on here you feel me i cook <laughs> i cook up everything but i don't to do pork four pots on the stove so a whole two fork got a flow that remind you of the old new york change the game we about to make a whole new sport and fuck it he ain't never lied to you and none of this shit like just to be honest with you next track on here lifetime this is um the loonies i got five on it beat classic and i'm glad he threw this in here to give y'all just like a west coast vibe from you know these state um loonies from um oakland you feel me giving you just just some just a little bit look a little taste of diversity on this on this joint um these niggas watch too much tv and i could get you hit up easy you ain't a plug if you can't serve a nigga who just need three you a small plug like a usbc these rappers are faking imagining fabricating they do a whole lot of over exaggerating we the ones that retaliate and bullets help you reach your final destination final destination like a travel agent and you just like you know like just bidding over this shit um next track on here past tense and bob um deep joint um nas raekwon um the infamous mob deep album uh the og version of this track and there's an eye for eye the um was on like a dj clue thing with a different beat and like a whole different vibe going on so if y'all know about that make sure y'all look that up and check that out it's called um i for i og version whatever have you i got two businesses and the people inve investigated both and that just plays into what he said in um the first track so everything is coming from cohesive that's how you know what somebody spitting is real because they continuously give you these little tidbits of it as we go like as you go along in a project that's one of the telltale signs that what he's spitting is the truth going ask your bitch how i met her selling pounds out the jetta down south at alvaretta more, i'm more polished than your than your small timers i'm just trying to see my name for sighted inside the forbes column and like yo i'm saying like he's talking this money shit he's getting it over there like you know very very business minded oriented guy over there you can tell from what is going on and how he's saying what he is saying um next beat on here um is shook ones too by the infamous mob deep again this track is called landscaping i'm glad that he decided to take out the time to give his trust movement shout outs on here um like as an artist this is one of those beats that you gotta come through and murder like anytime any place you gotta be prepared to rap over one over like any beat on this album you gotta be prepared to rap over this shit because that shit will come up in any type of situation where you gotta freestyle in front of people be it a radio station or whatever have you it's it's just automatic you should always have something to talk for any one of these beats that's on this album i don't sympathize for guys that's older than me and still need parental advice and i don't care what your man making we spent for rent. I spent it on landscaping. Like, real shit is rubber band language. Like, I'm saying, you talking so he's being braggadocious, you know, feel me? He got his own style about him, the, you know, the way he lays his bars out and everything, but he is murder murdering all this shit flawlessly. The outro on here, he is the only feature on here is Shay Noir spinning off of incarcerated scar faces. And I'm telling you, like, like yo it just excites me to see that he gave her the opportunity to hold such a classy beat down and she did like her skill her skill level is crazy and she has found her, her own flow in her own way about doing things i respect this so much i stay ready bitch my finger trigger move when i sleep the shit I spit is visionary. My word sharp. Kill a nigga and use the old bitch and wary for merch drops. And like if you say it right, I'm not going in the right, um in the right style of the beat. But dog, just a just a 
dope, 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 dope way to end off such a fire project with that just like surprise element at the end of it. Um, it's crazy because this is so fly and I know, um, 38, you know, he's a New York nigga, upstate New York, always right where he from. The one thing that I would say, if I had to say anything about this, like, we need a, like, one down south knocking ass beat from 95, you feel me? It's something that goes unnoticed it's, and that, like, goes looked over. So, imagine if he was on Outkast's, um, Benz or Bimo or even Mr. Cool's, like, here I go. One of these beats from down there that time period that was knocking down in. But other than that, it ain't nothing you could say about this shit. This shit was just too fucking hard and too fucking dope. So let me know what your favorite track is off of here. You feel me? What's your favorite vibe over these classic beats? Let me know if you think 38 and DJ Green Landon did his thing on here. You feel me? But I'm about to get out of here because, like, dog, this shit got me, like, wanting to a slap a nigga for real. Like, I can't, I can't hold it back. Like, they lucky I was listening to this in my own space because I, I was a around people you feel me some shit like i would have just popped off on somebody for no reason because that's the type of gritty shit that that time period brought to you but i'm mad money you can follow me on twitter and ig at mad money says that's m-a-d-a-m-m-o-n-e-y-s-a-y-s like i said make sure you leave a comment in the box below and let's like he's dropping again he's gonna drop interstate 38 so let's see what he brings to the table to try to close out the the, the rest of this year is a lot of projects coming out from trust they chose to use the summer just to drop everything and knock it out the park so far so good we're after 12 and this project right here 1995